back again with another helpful my team video guys and in this one right here we're gonna be talking about how to get tokens in nba 2k19 my team a lot of people right now are hitting up my dms on twitter instagram asking me how to get tokens you know for these new galaxy opals and right now we have seven by the way follow me on twitter and on instagram but we have seven galaxy opals they ended up adding some more obviously they gave us baylor they gave us bob pettit and they gave us ai now they do cost 750 tokens right now i'm at 622 so almost there gonna be getting my eighth one very soon but in today's video though we're gonna talk about how to get tokens i'm gonna show you all the ways that you can get tokens um both you know the free ones the super free ones and then the ones that are gonna cost you a little bit of mt so if you guys are ready and you want to see more videos like this do me a favor leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already let me know down below in the comments how you're grinding tokens right now because i know you're going for that pink diamond diamond maybe galaxy opal let me know down below and I mean without further ado let's get right into it now the first way we're gonna you know just get it out of the way is obviously gonna be spend MT the way that you get MT is you want to complete the throwback collections these give you 15 tokens there's a lot of teams that's a lot of tokens right bam easy simple and then the other way that you can also do it maybe you can't afford the, th the throwback players even though that's really weird because like they're pullable right now just work the market you should be able to you know just buy them very easily um, it shouldn't be that hard obviously it's gonna take a little bit but you can definitely work the market for the cards that you're missing you might get lucky get them for 500 maybe 1000 you can also do the heat check ones these give you 25 for every single team and there's a lot of teams so that's a lot of tokens so very simple that's for the people that have mt you know not a lot of people do have mt right now um so just keep that in mind like if you do have it that's one way of doing it another way of doing it is when people are opening packs like say like a promotion comes out or like you know certain anniversary players come out you want to go with the jerseys these also give you tokens 10 tokens right here and then for the west another 10 and then right here also they give you 20 for the earned ones these are a little bit pricier but they all ended up you know dropping in price like everything right now is super cheap so definitely uh you know start buying those and you know don't pay market price you can definitely snipe them a lot of these jerseys sometimes they go for like 500 or 250 it's gonna take some time it's gonna take some grinding obviously but that right there's for the people that have mt for those that didn't know you can get tokens by completing collections so that is the first part now the second part say you don't have mt maybe you're a broke boy the next way of doing it is of course going to be domination you get a lot of tokens from domination if you're like me you did it right away if you've been a little bit lazy or maybe you just got the game start doing it right now you start with the regular one and then you work your way towards you know five tokens every time you complete these and then you also get tokens for completing these uh final games a lot of tokens to be made um, and then you, you move on to the next one they increase it you got eight and then again these games give you look at all those tokens that you get my goodness i wish i could do these oh man i wish i could do these again because <laughs> i need a lot of tokens right now but uh, all these they give you tokens and then once you get to the final one this is where you really start getting tokens you get one token for every game that you complete and then a lot of mt you also get you know your collector level up so domination definitely the best way to go about it in case you haven't done it because it gives you everything you know um collect rewards tokens and they give you mt too so not bad and it's free you don't have to have like a super overpowered team just have a decent like ruby team a lot of great rubies amethyst now in the game you get 10 tokens right there and then obviously the final few games you get a lot of tokens as well look at look at that oh my i forgot how many tokens you got in the final game wow okay i wish i could do that again but right there domination get it done the other way that you can get tokens is the moment challenges there's one right now which are about to expire so do it right now as you're watching this video you get 20 tokens for this one you gotta score 30 points with any player and then win the game super easy super simple you can definitely do like some of the schedules like i think at the end do these give you tokens oh they actually don't i think it's the weekly challenges there we go the weekly challenges these give you tokens um they give you three in the first and then the final ones are like six I'm um, definitely not a bad way of going about it, but to be honest, not the most effective way to go about it. I'm just giving you every option that you can do, and then it's up to you which one you want to do. But that right there's one way of doing it. Um, you do also end up getting like multiplayer challenges like almost every week, and they give you about like four tokens. So definitely do these. Um, sometimes I think they've been going from like diamond all the way. Right now we're at silver, so maybe the next one's gonna be bronze and so on. So definitely do this. Four tokens available right now. Get it done. But now we're going to talk about the main way of getting tokens. Now, you could also do a uh, triple threat online. Um, you can do that. But I really wouldn't recommend it. I mean, sometimes you get 10 tokens. Most of the time you get one token, to be honest. But sometimes you get three, five, seven. 
if you're lucky, you might get, you know, 20 in one go, but that takes a lot of time. And then obviously you gotta go against the off ballers and you gotta do this and that, and it's just annoying. Don't, don't even bother doing online. You can do unlimited too. I believe they give you about like 25 tokens. If you're really good and you wanna, you know, get tokens this way, maybe you just win every game like in five minutes. Do this, great way to get tokens right there. I haven't even bothered uh, too much with unlimited just cause I mean, I got 45 days. I'm not in a rush to get west right now. Uh, but the best way to get tokens is, of course... Oh, actually, I almost forgot. Another super easy way to get tokens is, of course, through the lottery codes. A lot of the lottery codes, they give you, like, 5 to 15 tokens. If they give you a diamond player, there's, like, 15 on the side. Sometimes 5, 10 in the middle. And then, obviously, the diamond player. Sometimes they just give you, like, a lottery code with, like, 50, 75 tokens. So definitely follow my team on Twitter and then follow me on Twitter, too, to stay up to date with all the lottery codes. So that right there is going to be like pretty much um, the simple ways. Now, if you definitely want to grind and the most effective way to get tokens is triple threat offline. Super easy to do. A lot of the teams that you go up against are golds and emeralds and rubies. Sometimes you'll go up against the Galaxy Opal. You want to be careful with the Lakers and you want to be careful with the Bulls. But for the most part, these games, like for me, now that I have like my system going, they take me about like two to three minutes, maybe four minutes, maybe five minutes if I'm going up against like Scottie Pippen at point guard. And that guy is really annoying. But really, but pretty much what you want to do um, is get somebody that can shoot, like Kevin Durant, Tracy McGrady. You want to get a post player like Shaq. Now, obviously, if you can't afford these, there's definitely other alternatives. You can definitely pick up like maybe Amethyst Curry. You know, just pull up. You want to get somebody with like limitless range. I mean, you can get Gilbert Arenas. They're a little bit, you know, shorter. But you definitely want to get somebody with Hall of Fame limitless range, minimum. Maybe Dimer too, to help you out in case you're running like a budget squad. I mean, you can run Rui Porzingis. Um, usually I run Amethyst Porzingis, but right now I am running Shaq just to show you different ways of scoring against the CPU. Um, so we're going to get right into that really quickly. So just get a main shooter that you can just pull up with at any given time. You want to get somebody tall that we can shoot over the small point guards. You want to have another big guy that can set screens, play in the post, and also shoots. Um, you want to run like your post player at the two and then have like someone taller at the three maybe like porzingis could be like your three because he's definitely taller than Shaq. and then you go on to the you know play a game and then once you get on this board right here now if you haven't like finished the first like six boards um i believe you do get tokens in that too but for me i've been playing for a while so like i'm already up to this stage but pretty much uh, once you get to board seven uh, there's five teams once you beat the five teams they give you the six tokens in the middle and then you can repeat this as many times as you want. Uh, it takes you about like 20 to the 25 minutes uh, to get six tokens. So you can definitely get like 18 tokens per hour, which is really good. Really, really, really good considering, you know, I can't get any more tokens any other way. So definitely a good way to, to go about it. But pretty much you want to drop the ball. Uh, we're going to drop it. It doesn't really matter where we drop it. All these teams are pretty easy. I already beat the Bulls. I ended up beating them by like... Like a lot of points were just surprising because they had Michael Jordan, Galaxy Opal, Scottie Pippen. But I was just hitting all my shots. Um, but pretty much though, like right here we got CP3, Capella, and James Harden. I'm going to show you guys the best way to go about it in terms of like scoring and so on. Super easy way to do it too. And once you get like, you know, the hang of it, it's going to be super easy. In the beginning you might struggle because you want to, you know, because sometimes you do go up against Galaxy Opals. But for the most part, super easy. And I'll show you really quickly once it loads. And here we go. So what you want to do for Triple Threat Offline is you just want to let the guy score. You know, for the most part, they're going to make the shot because they, they hardly miss. What you want to do is you want to get the main guy, right? So for me, it's Kevin Durant. I like going the opposite. As you can see, CP3 is on the right side. So I'm going to run Kevin Durant. I'm going to give him the ball. Now, usually I would pull up. But since, you know, he's on me, I don't want to, like, you know, waste my time. So I'm going to go to my post player. You know, we're going to go down low. They're going to double team you. That's when you pass it. You pull up for three. Bam, easy, three points. And then you just keep doing that. Uh, there's a lot of ways of scoring. I'm gonna show you every single way. Now, obviously, again, let him score. You know, sometimes it take a while, but yeah, CP3, you can have that shot all day. If you get the ball and you're in transition, you know, you can pull up for three. You know, he contested that very well, but I mean, it's a bonus, that boy don't miss. So you definitely wanna invest in some really good, you know, top players. I recommend some bonus. Shaq and Kevin Durant, they've been working out very well for me. Again, you don't wanna play defense, just let him score. Sometimes they'll drive if you want to give them the drive and then jump when they, you know, go for like the floater or the layup. You can definitely do that. Another thing that you can do is you can just run up the floor and then just pull up with Kevin Durant. Pull up with whoever you want. Super easy. See, we already got nine points. Now, you can definitely go for the inbound still too. Sometimes I do it. Um, I, I really don't recommend reaching 
because it's just gonna give you the foul animation and then at that point good little block right there oh we gotta grab the rebound oh capella you can have that shoot it come on sometimes the cpu is super slow um, but for the most part that's what you want to do um, very simple very easy uh, you, you either run up the floor go in the post or something else that you can do actually let me just pull up real quick right here sometimes you do miss just keep that in mind uh, you don't want to take bad shots like that that was a pretty bad shot you want to be you know standing just let him score i definitely could have blocked that but if you block it it goes out of bounds and so on we just quickly inbound it and there's something else that you can do if you have somebody good that can set screens just do a quick you know pick and fade with your main guy right there sometimes they most of the time they go under sometimes they'll go over but you know just pass it to your big guy pull up three easy i like running shag because again sometimes you do go up against like scotty pippen michael jordan and they're definitely better defenders than cb3 and harden but that right there is like super easy to do just keep doing it you know let them score let them have whatever they want sometimes they miss you know just run up the floor oh he's not gonna be able to guard me pull up three another green get somebody that you know they're released that way you can green that way you don't waste any possessions like just super easy you can definitely go for the steals but it's just a waste of time to be honest especially when you get fouled or you foul them but just give them the shot you know if they make it they make it it's fine but again just pull up for three you can go in the post whatever you want you know maybe you don't have the best team gonna you know just go in the post pass out pull up three super easy you're not gonna miss I uh, again you can definitely go for the inbound steal just like stand in front of them sometimes they pass it you'd be surprised how many times they pass it just don't reach let them score but like I said you just want to pull up for three get a quick little green simple and then something else that you want to do to speed things up is once the second boss score shows like right there you want to pause it and then you want to quit you can definitely wait too like if you want to wait for the MT you can do it I wouldn't advise it um, you know, I would just quit. You can quit. Just make sure that you wait until the second box score uh, disappears. You don't want to do it after the first one. Um, just when I paused it right there was, was a good time to quit. And then you just end up quitting. Go to the next game. And that right there, super easy way to get tokens. You get six tokens every 20 to 25 minutes. That game took me, I, I forgot to show you guys, but it took me about like three, four minutes max. Super easy. And then you just move on to the next game. Keep doing it. You get six tokens. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. And then eventually, you'll get your Galaxy Opal. Even though I do hope that 2K eventually either updates, you know, maybe the tokens in online. Or maybe they lower the amount that you need to get a Galaxy Opal in the uh, reward market. Um, you know, I'm working on getting my next one. Uh, we'll see who I get. I haven't really decided yet. I ended up doing gameplay on Bot Pettit. Check out that video. Did gameplay on Ed Iverson. Check out that video too. I think I know who I'm going to go with, but... We'll see what happens. But that right there, though, is going to be the tutorial. If I missed anything, let me know down below in the comments uh, how you get your tokens. I'm pretty sure I covered everything for the most part. Um, I do believe I did. So, yeah, definitely. That's how you do it. Easy way, simple. And then uh, before you know it, you're going to be like me and have all these Galaxy Opals. I got seven. Going to get eight, then nine, then ten. Then I'm going to have all of them. I'm hoping to get ten, hopefully... Um, before the finals, but we'll see what happens. But that is gonna be the video. If you enjoyed it and it helped you out, do me a favor, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, uh, let your friends know. That way they can grind tokens too. If you haven't already, check out the new videos that I uploaded. I did gameplay on the new Galaxy Opals. Throw them some love. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah, on my bed, texting with the bill. Roses in my wallet, and I'm flexing it for real. Racks and racks and racks, I look like rookie of the year.